Walmart now has an early Black Friday deal on this Pokemon card product, and it is the Pikachu VMAX Premium Collection Box. And this Premium Collection Box for this year's Black Friday comes with seven booster packs of Crown Zenith, a Jumbo card, two Pikachu promo cards, and a Pikachu pin for a total of $25. Crown Zenith is one of the best sets inside of the Sword and Shield era, and today I'm going to be picking up two of these Pikachu VMAX Premium Collection Boxes and see if we can get any of the top cards from the set. Is this product worth it? Let's go find out. This is Lazard Bro. Friday is, well actually technically it's not officially here, but early Black Friday deals are here and today we have Crown Zenith. Uh, I don't know if you guys saw or if you've seen at your local Walmarts, but they have these Pikachu uh, VMAX collection boxes, Crown Zenith. You get seven packs for $25, which is a really good deal. Uh, Crown Zenith, I mostly have complete, but it's not a set that I'm really op opening regularly. I'm, I'm on the like Paradox Rift side now, Scarlet and Violet, but uh, we have Crown Zenith, and these boxes do come with the Pikachu promos, really cool promos, I think these have already came out, I don't think they're anything new or anything like that, but uh, you got the Pikachu, Pikachu VMAX, very nice, and I will say, in these boxes, uh, it does come with one thing I don't think has came out with uh, the previous uh, Crown Zenith product, is this uh, Pikachu pin, if I can hold it up on screen and have it focus, it is a pretty cool looking pin, I'm not the biggest Pokemon pin collector out there, but uh, it is really cool. We got the big old chunk of chew there with the lightning bolt. Pretty cool. But yeah, main thing here is seven packs in each box for $25, which is a really good deal. I think it comes out to like uh, just over $3.50 a pack, which isn't bad. But I will say, I'm, I'll throw up an image uh, if I can find one. If you find those uh, Galarian bird tins, the Euro, the, like the European tins, those are usually marked down. They, they should be marked down to like $14 now. So, uh, so you get like four packs in it. So, and I think that actually comes out to like 350 a pack. So yeah, that, that should be exactly 350. So honestly, technically that's a little better deal if you can find those, uh, Euro tins, but if you can get your hands on, uh, some of these, uh, Pikachu boxes for Christmas for, like I said, for Black Friday, it's a really good deal for just a small, you know, like a, a gift or for somebody who likes to open Pokemon cards. We have a Galarian mouse. So hopefully we can get something here today out of 14 packs. And we have a Raihan... Rayhan Galarian Gallery Full Art Trainer. First pack magic, I will definitely take that. And for the actual rare, and a professor's research. That is an incredible way to start off uh, this early Black Friday Walmart Crown Zenith. That's a, just a mouthful. That's sick. I, one thing with Crown Zenith, everybody knows it's the last special set, to, actually it's the last set to come out of Sword and Shield and Everybody knows, at least the earlier uh, Crown Zenith, like, drops, like, when it initially, the hit rates were really, uh, like, they were welcoming, they were really good. To get a really good card out of a Crown Zenith pack was was pretty easy. It, it was very, uh, is a, it was, still is a very fun set to open, so hopefully we can, hopefully we can just keep that luck up. That's actually pretty funny, just to get a double banger pack out of the beginning. Uh, I'm still searching. I don't have this set complete. A lot of these cards in the set are pretty cheap right now. Like you can find under three dollars, like a lot of the Galarian Gallery cards. But uh, you can. Uh, I'm still after like two of the gold cards I have not bought yet because I, I really do want to pull them. I, it's the RCSV and the Dialga or no Palkia gold uh, gold card. So I'm definitely after those two cards. And we have a Zer Aura non holographic. Honestly, I'd still take any. Uh, Oh, uh, what am I thinking of? Any, like, full uh, V-Star, Galarian Gallery, like the Glaceon, Leafeon. I'd say the biggest, besides the gold uh, V-Star cards, the Mewtwo V-Star is still probably the most valuable card. Or it's definitely still up there. I'm sure it's come down, but I'm I'm, I'm pretty positive it's still hovering at least above uh, $40, somewhere around there. I don't know. But uh, hopefully, again, yeah, out of 14 packs, Crown Zenith, we should have plenty of hits to come today, especially out of the Trainer Gallery. Galarian Gallery, Regular Hollows, Full Arts, we got a Snow Run, Electivire, Galarian Gallery. This is one of my favorite artworks out of the whole set. That's it. You got Magmortar there. Very nice. Dude, again, Crown Zenith, just one of the best sets out of the Sword and Shield era for sure. I, I put out like, out of 14 packs, so I set out probably 15 sleeves just in case because I have opened plenty of Crown Zenith in like every pack 
before has been a hit. I might be... No, I should be going back and forth. But yeah, like, there's times I've opened Crown Zenith, like a couple of the Galarian Bird Tins. Every pack had some sort of hit, whether it was the Secret Rare Pikachu, any Galarian Gallery card, V-Star. I've been doing the card tricks, so I'm just going to keep continue doing that. But yeah, Black Friday, I didn't want to buy a whole lot. I figured two, uh, two packages, two boxes would have been good enough for a video. 14 packs. And the selection we had at our store actually wasn't very big. They probably had 20, 25 boxes, which unless there was some, you know, throughout the store that I didn't see, but they only had that one little section. And we have a Whale Lord non-hollow. So I don't know how popular this is going to be. I don't know if people are really going out clamoring for Crown Zenith right now. Crown Zenith just just went through a, uh, like a big, I don't know if it was a big reprint, but they went through a reprint uh, nonetheless. I know uh, some ETBs, uh, a lot of the ETBs got reprinted. My brother picked up a case from Forge and Fire for like $400, which is a re <laughs> honestly a really good deal that you can't pass up, but I did just because I just can't buy a sealed case for $400 right now. I'd really like to, but again, it's, a, it's just a, such a great deal. Luxray, yeah, for $400, like that's almost a no-brainer. Like just for collecting, not even for like, yeah, like to reseal them or anything. Or resell them, not reseal. Yeah, not reseal to resell them. But, but yeah, I don't know. Have you guys opened Crown Zenith in a while? Uh, again, such a fun set. Like almost a hit in every pack. As I say that, like I haven't got a hit in that last pack. But can we do? Let's see if we can pull like one of them gold star or gold V star cards today. That'd be sick. That'd really that'd really make the video. We have a Whalmer, Luxio, and an Enamorous non hollow I think I've only pulled. So in like the regular set, there you have like the Alessa Sparkle, Elisa Sparkle, however you want to pronounce it. You got the full art trainers, and you got that secret rare Pikachu. I think I've only pulled two of those secret rare Pikachu's from like the main part of this set. And I'd really like to get a third one. I know they're not the most expensive card. Like I, a lot of people have pulled them. Like I said, the hit rates out of Crown Zenith are, you know, they're spectacular compared to other sets. But uh, I'd really like to see another uh, like third secret rare Pikachu. We have a Scyther. Riolu. Oh, skip the card. We got a Turk Twig <laughs> Trainer Gallery. This is awesome. I love again. Just the artwork on these cards are absolutely insane. And for the rare, might get the P. Ooh, and oh, did I do the card trick wrong? No, that is normal. I'm pretty sure that's normal. Yeah, I already pulled the energy out of that pack as I drop <laughs> that whole stack of cards. We got the Turk Twig Trainer Gallery again for twenty five dollars. Again, it comes out to like just over three dollars and fifty cents a pack. Like three. I don't know. I, I'll. I'm not good at math, but not 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 the not the worst pricing out there, especially if you want Pokemon cards for cheap. And I will say too, uh, I saw on Twitter, even in our stores, they had them regular sleeve booster packs. I don't know if it's uh, Scarlet and Violet era or if it can go to Sword and Shield because we do have some Lost Origin in store, like single uh, sleeve packs of Lost Origin. But those packs are down to like 374 pack. They got marked down. I think it's just because they're not selling, but. Honestly, not a bad deal there. When we have a Radiant Eternity, so it's very nice. I kind of forgot the Radiant cards were in here. And for the rare, we got an Enamorous again. What I forgot what other Radiant cards. So was it Radiant? Uh... Oh man, I'm drawing a blank. Is it not Rotom? Is it Rotom? Ra no, it's not Radiant Rotom. I don't know. So, uh, Charge Bug or something like that. Charge Bug. I don't know. We got Radiant Eternity. I, I'm getting a bunch of sets confused right now. Come on, Crown Zenith. Let's see a gold. Let's see one gold. Gold, again, I still need the Arceus and the Palkia gold V-Star, but I would love, love to see a gold Giratina. I, I know it's 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 in there somewhere. Again, like that display that was at our store that was in the intro probably had like 25. I could be mis misremembering, but it wasn't a very big uh, display. I've seen other stores get like huge displays of them, but I mean, our Walmart's pretty small. It's not the... Not the biggest one around. And we got a dub wool. But definitely just wanted to open a few of these just to kind of kind of let you guys know about it. I'm sure you guys have seen it. I'm sure you guys heard about it maybe through Twitter, Instagram. I've seen some people on Instagram find them and post like what their dis the, the, what their store's display looks like. But, uh, you know, not opening much Crown Zenith these days. I've pretty much uh, settled with it. Any cards that I want, I'm pretty much just buying right now. But it's always fun to kind of go back to, to see what the hit rates were like, to see what the cards are. I'm not sure what cards are playable. That Great Ball I just pulled may have been good. We have a Pancham, Snowrunner, come on, let's get gold. Swab Blue, Trainer Gallery, that's nice. Man, they just, the artwork, they've been ramping up the artwork. I don't know if from like Crown Zenith on, like into the Scarlet and Violet, they was like, hey, we can do something with this artwork. Because the art, 
I will say the artwork in the Scarlet and Violet era has been out of this world. I don't know if that's just like something they realize that they've been doing from Crown Zenith or not, but they definitely step it up from Crown Zenith on. So I will give them, I will give Pokemon props for that. We do have four packs remaining. Oh yeah, come on, let's get a gold. Get let's get a V Star. We have we got we kind of started off, we kind of gone downhill. We pulled the two full arts from the same pack and then got some trainer galleries along the way. Let's get let's get a let's get a V Star. Let's get a V Star Galarian Gallery. We have a Metang. Come on, let's get a gold. Rockruff, Aeron, Riolu, Starly, Scyther, and a Suicune full art Galarian Gallery. However you want to categorize it. That's sick. This is definitely one of my top chase cards when it's set first release. It was like the Ryaku Suicune. Uh, even though like the Deoxys V-Star was like a top chase card. Any gold. That's sick. And for the rare gumshoes. I will take a Suicune. That's probably t uh, one of the uh, the top three. Entei. I'm out of... Wow. Okay, maybe I didn't set out like 20 sleeves. Okay, what I thought I, <laughs> I set out like 10 sleeves. Apparently not. I just grabbed a handful. We got the Suicune V Galarian Gallery. Again, one of the best artworks. One of the better cards I think you can pull from Crown Zenith. Just it's got that alt art vibe to it. Pretty sick. I will throw that. Uh, I kind of want to keep the Pikachus in frame. I'll set the Suicune right there for now. It's just, stuff's going to get covered up. I don't have a lot of room here. Down to three packs of Crown Zenith. Ooh. Again, I say it almost every pack now. I want gold. I want to see some gold in, the, in these uh, Black Friday deals. Come on. I know they're out there. They got, they got to be out there. It took me forever to pull that uh, Suicune, like when the set initially released. Like, there was a lot of cards I was after, and I opened a ton of Crown Zenith. It was, it's such a fun set. It's such a such a, such a welcoming set. Larvesta, Emolga, and a Snorlax, <laughs> Snorlax doll. That actually might be a thing. I think it is a thing in uh, Scarlet and Violet. Two packs remaining of Crown Zenith. Here we go. Yeah, let me know. Let me know uh, what you guys think. Did you guys? Uh, find any of these Do you, does your store have them are you planning on picking any up to to open or to give to gifts as uh for christmas coming around again it's a it's a nice little product that's not expensive and i don't think really everybody's going to be going after this like i don't think it's like going to be scalpers lining up to to get these boxes like because crown zenith is pretty cheap right now especially like i said since they went through the reprint so just let me know what you guys think we got a whalemore shinx luxray and for the rare executor all right Let's end it on a banger for this last pack. I'm calling gold. I, <laughs> if I say I'm going to pull a gold V-Star enough, it'll eventually happen. Just through the repetitiveness of it. But, uh, come on. So, honestly, not bad. We got a full art, alt art, however you want to like can count that. Suicune. We got a bunch of trainer galleries. We got two full art trainers out of that first pack. That was sick. I, could, I shuffled them, too. I just shuffle them and, and let it ride. But... Here we go, last pack. Let's see what we got. Lost Vacuum. Laron, thank you guys for watching this video. Again, let me know down below what you think. Thank you guys for uh, subscribing and all that. Snow Runt, we got a rock up. <laughs> that, I can't make this up. I cannot make this up. Origin Form Dialga V-Star. Let's go. It's not the one I need, but dude, it's a gold V-Star. I will take it. I got chills right now. Just to... <laughs> How I've just been clamoring, saying, we're going to pull a gold. That's awesome. Origin form, Dialga V-Star. That, that's hilarious. That just literally just took this video to the next level. Dialga V-Star, Infrared. Can we get a Pikachu? Like, secret rare Pikachu. Lipard. Oh, man. I gotta, I gotta, I'm glad I set out another sleeve for that. That is freaking awesome. Last pack magic with the Origin form, Dialga V-Star. Dude, the artwork in Crown Zenith is incredible black friday walmart crown zenith it cannot get any better than that let's go